if you take the tri-rail, take a moment to check your schedule. Starting today, the train will run on a modified version of its current schedule. It's part of a larger effort to expand service for thousands of riders. Austin's here with hopes that more will hop on the rails. Uh, that's right, and you'll still see about 50 weekday trains and 30 trains on the weekend, but now the times are going to be slightly adjusted. This is Tri-Rail is gearing up to operate trains to downtown Miami. Now the hope is for service to swing east right here to Miami Central Station. You are looking live there in downtown Miami, which is where Brightline already stops and is very close to the Government Center Metro Rail and Metro Movers stop. Now the current route on Tri-Rail brings riders down the tracks through high and to Miami International Airport. Now, the South Florida Regional Transportation Authority says they will be testing how Tri-Rail harmonizes with Brightline and the Florida East Coast Railway during this time. Now, the next step will be getting service officially started. Tri-Rail is also reporting increasing ridership this year and an overall 85% increase in passengers since 2019. Well, speaking of service, Brightline increased their service this month between Miami and Orlando with now 16 daily departures from Miami.